I'm Captain Kim Panik Sagan, United States Space Force, and I'm the PM for Warp Corps. So Warp Corps is our data as a service. Uh, it started about two years ago with just the question of how do we leverage data and how do we do it at scale? So Warp Corps is leveraging Palantir Foundry, and it's a commercial product that allows you to do data ingest, transformation, and exposure for operations. My name is Katie Ward. Uh, I'm an engineer at Palantir. Uh, I was one of the program managers for Warp Corps. It's an enterprise data management platform that's really meant to pull together all the information that you need for like true space domain awareness. Warp Core, we originally got for space data problems. Then we realized data is a problem for everyone. We expanded out. Project Brown Heron started with the Department of the Air Force during the pandemic. During that time, we had to answer the question, how is the pandemic affecting our readiness to continue supporting the mission? So that included pulling from a number of personnel and readiness and medical data sources. Then we expanded out to NORAD NORTHCOM for the Global Information Dominance Experiment to show how do we answer multi-domain actions. For Operation Allies Refuge, the first problem was we need to evacuate. How do we get people out of Afghanistan? What aircraft do I have available? What maintainers do I have to maintain that aircraft? How quickly are they spinning through? What is their fuel status? How much can they carry? That is all data. And so what Warp Corps was able to do is provide all of that aircraft, personnel, and equipment data to advise the most efficient way to use our resources and evacuate out of Afghanistan. What we had is a platform that is able to pull in any type of data to meet any type of mission. And that's what JADC2 is is trying to answer how do we cross all the data from different domains to support our operations, whether that's ground, space, air, or sea. I think the thing that's like uniquely powerful about Warp Core in this JADC2 space is that you're getting the technology to the warfighter and you're, you're allowing them to make the decisions um, that they need to make without kind of all of this overhead of like, okay, you need three data scientists, you need one orbital physicist, and you need 15 Excel sheets uh, to get the answer to your problem before you can even start to make operational decisions. Because ultimately, we aren't the ones finding the use cases, the operators are, um, and the domain for them is changing constantly. So as much of like technology can be used to help them do, do their jobs, I think that's the thing that I find the most satisfying about my work. That's one of the cool things too with our partners, how much they have enveloped themselves into the mission, literally sitting on the floor where they say, I, I get the operations, I get the pain points, I'm here to actually answer pain points and not just check boxes. That's been amazing to just not get data for data's sake, but to always be focused on the mission. Uh, because of the technology, we were able to iterate really quickly and so every single day we were showing, you know, the folks on the floor at, you know, cruise shift change, hey, this is a new thing. Hey, this was your feedback. Is this what you're imagining? Get that feedback immediately. And we were sitting on the floor with them iterating in real time. Um, so that was a really incredible experience um, to, to be on the floor with the users. And the part that really gets exciting is because you're doing it all on like a, a living enterprise platform, as they're making decisions, you're actually capturing that as information. So not only do you have the, you know, accelerator that is a tool that multiple folks can use, but then you start to like, again, build back into that data asset of, okay, here are the decisions we're making and here's how we can capture that and learn from that. So what I'm excited about is Warp Core is less than two years old. And with that time, we've been able to acquire, develop, deliver, and expand, not within just the Space Force, but within the Department of Air Force and North NORTHCOM. Give us another year, who knows where we're going to be.